hard to get used to living without you. I know I'm supposed to take care of myself. If you have a nightmare, wake up. Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. So the last days I've been completely insane. Like I've hit a thousand subscribers like two days ago and I'm already at 3,500 something and it's just like I don't know I, I can't process what is happening like one of my shorts completely blew up so if you're new here hi I usually do vlogs about my life here in Iceland and I do a lot of content about ballet but not just that so I hope that you can enjoy these vlogs too and I just wanted to say thank you for all the love and the nice comments it has been kind of overwhelming and I can't really like answer every comment and I'm not used to that because usually I get like 300 views and like three comments per video so I'm usually very on top of it and now it's completely different and I feel like that short is going to eat a million today and I can't like I'm a very small youtuber and this is happening very fast but besides that I'm going to leave to go downtown because I need to find an Halloween costume. I have a party tonight and I still don't have a costume. I don't know if in Tiger they have something. If they don't, I'm just going to make something up and like, I don't know, do something with makeup. Like be a vampire, but that's like kind of boring. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do have to figure it out because it's four o'clock and the party is at 7, 8, something like that. So I need to go downtown and I'll take you with me so you can see a bit of Iceland. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is an okay bar. It's an awful house and I want it to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same without you Oh my god, my video has a million views. Like, I, I, I don't have any words. Just like a, a million? Like last week I had 500 subscribers. My videos would get like, maybe if it was like a very successful video, like randomly, a thousand views. Like, my most viewed video had 7,000 and it was like a fluke. The rest of them didn't have that many views and now I have a video with a million views. Just like... Thank you! <laughs> I don't know what to say! This is insane! So, I'm in my costume with like my kids' fairy wings. But I think it kind of looks cute. This is the outfit. It's sort of giving like bloom from Wish from Winx. But I kind of like it and with the boots it looks really cute. And also the makeup is kind of working. It's like super sparkly and I'm in love with it. So yeah, I'm kind of late to the party so I'm going to get going. working on the new video that I'm going to post the one before this one that you are obviously watching but I'm just doing the thumbnail for like the days in Lisbon um, video 
and I don't know I wasn't expecting this video to be like my first video after not only hitting a thousand subscribers but five thousand subscribers by today which is insane it has all happened in the last week and usually I post like my vlogs and obviously I always put a lot of effort in them but like I feel like this is a lot of pressure because I'm not used to having so many eyes on me and I'm not used to this type of growth in my channel but yeah I don't know I feel like most people probably just want to watch my shorts and are not really interested in the YouTube videos that I actually make but also I really like to make YouTube videos and I really like to make vlogs those are my favorite videos to make and I don't know I wanted to make like a very good video since all of this happened but I still have this one to publish and it wouldn't make sense for me to publish it after this one so I don't know I wouldn't really have time to like film another video because I already had this one prepared and I don't want to miss my upload days on Sundays and yeah this is a lot of pressure and, and I know probably it doesn't make sense to a lot of people but I don't know, I'm just nervous about this week's upload. If you've seen it, I hope that you liked it. So I'm just waiting to catch the bus and it's really really cold tonight. But like you can see, it's basically sunset and it's 3.30. The sun won't be setting for a few hours but it's getting really low already because we are almost in November which is pretty weird I'm not excited for like the darkness in the winter but I'm excited for like the cold and the snow and all of that because it looks so cute in the winter here yeah the darkness usually gets to me and yeah having the sunset at around 5 it's not good and it's just going to get worse because by December the sun will be gone by 3 so yeah I'm going to leave for university right now and I just have to go finish up a project that is due tomorrow and I'm going to do that before my class. After my class I'm actually having a meeting with my supervisors for my thesis and I'm kind of late with the thesis. I thought I wasn't going to be but like because it's such a big project I feel like everything else becomes a priority and not the thesis because it's only like due in May which is definitely not good because I don't do well with like deadlines in the future I do well under pressure and I feel like I really needed this meeting to have pressure back for the thesis work because I have like every opportunity to work on it and not be late and I'm already having like a bad start to it and I don't want to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna go and probably after the meeting I want to go to the rock lab and work on some samples. I think I can just film there and I will show you what I'm actually doing. So I've been here in the lab just looking at the microscope and trying to see if I can find some cool things and I thought I would show you a bit what I'm actually doing. I'm not doing what I was supposed to do before but I'm I'm actually doing something much cooler which is like my favorite thing in geology I just love like the mineralogical part of this so I don't know if you care but I'm still going to show you basically I have this thin section of a crystal and you can see here is just like the scanned version of it I'm trying to see if I can like see cool things that I can see from like the naked eye for example some spots this one you can see that maybe it has some iron and when you zoom in you can actually see how cool it is when you look closer so i'm scanning all of this and trying to take photos so then i can go to the microprobe i feel like this is a very tedious job for most people but for me it's just so relaxing like spending the morning trying to look at cool things and just having my headphones in and listening to taylor swift I'm listening to the 1989 album, obviously, and I just get into the zone and it's my favorite thing. I just finished getting ready for bed and I just put on my hair serum, which is why it looks so greasy, but it's not greasy, it's just hair oil, but let's pretend that's not happening. But I just wanted to give you like a little reading update because I haven't done that in a while and because a lot of you are new. 
Uh, you might not know that I'm like a huge reader. Actually, my first YouTube channel was a booktube channel. And for the last few years, I haven't read that much. But this year, I'm making an effort to start reading again. And that means that I'm reading all the popular books. And the book that I'm reading is The Fourth Wing. Yes, I know everyone has read this. And I've also already read this. I read this when I went to Lisbon. I got this book on the airport in London and I read it before I got back to Iceland and I loved it and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. Like I've tried to read The Maid, which is supposed to be like a really good book, but I didn't get into that one because the only thing that I could think of it was this book. The next one is actually coming out in a week. But I just decided to reread it anyways to like pick up on the things that I didn't pick up on the first time because this book is just so good. Like, I've always been a huge fantasy reader and I've read all the big like fantasy series that you probably can think of. And this is not like the, one of the best ones. Like, the world is not super complicated, the characters don't have that big of, like, a backstory. It's not like a hardcore fantasy book. But the reason why so many people love it is because it's a very simple book to read. And I feel like if you have never read a fantasy book, this is a book to start. Even way more than Sarah J Maas with any of her series or like Cassandra Clare. This is easier. This is like a good version of Colleen Hoover. Like everyone could read this book, but it's actually not trash. I don't want to be mean, but with book talk recommendations, it's either I really love the book, it's incredible, or it came out in 2015 and I already read it back then, or it's the biggest pile of trash that I ever set my eyes on. Like the Spanish Love Deception, I think that's the title of the book. I never read anything so bad. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to like The Fourth Wing so much because a lot of people that recommend those types of books also recommend this one. But I have to tell you, it's good, it's easy to read. If you haven't read in a while, this is a great pick-me-up book. And I cannot wait for the next one to come out because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's hard to get used to living without you. 